Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this theory video, I will try to explain how the touch buttons work. There are many different kinds of touch sensing techniques, but I will explain those that one can make in his or her lab with some simple circuits. First, the most simple and straightforward technique, the resistance touch sensor. This method is based on the fact that human tissues have big amounts of water and salts, which makes them conductive. This is a simple typical circuit for such a sensor. There are two electrodes, one connected to the positive supply and the other, through a protective resistor, goes to the base of the amplifier, such as a transistor. If a finger touches both the electrodes, then a small amount of current will flow through and this current will stimulate the base of the transistor causing it to saturate. This is a simple resistance touch sensor assembled on a breadboard for test. I have included an additional 2N2222 power transistor to further amplify the current output. These are the two electrodes. The left electrode is directly connected to the power supply and the right goes to the base of the transistor. When I touch them, the LED turns on, which means that the touch is sensed. This circuit is so sensitive that it operates even if I touch each electrode with a different hand. The next touch sensing technique is called AC hum touch sensors. I was not going to explain this method, but I decided to do so because many people tend to confuse it with the capacitance touch sensors that I explain on another video. This method is based on the fact that if the conductive human body is close to an active AC power line, it will induce a slight voltage with the same frequency. Look at the oscilloscope screen. When I touch the probe, the oscilloscope traces a slight AC voltage with 50 Hz frequency. This comes from the power lines that are near me, like this lamp. Notice that when I approach my hand to the lamp, the induced voltage is increased. This circuit is designed to detect this voltage on my body. A powerful amplifier like this Darlington pair transistor will amplify this AC voltage. This capacitor over here will smooth it, before it's driven to the base of the PNP output transistor. When the electrode is untouched, the output remains low, but if the electrode is touched, the amplified signal will cause the PNP transistor to saturate. This is an AC ham touch sensor assembled on a breadboard for test. The left LED of this resistor is a touch electrode. When I touch it, the LED turns on. There are some disadvantages with this kind of touch sensor. First of all, if I ground myself, they will probably not work, and that's because the induced voltage is grounded through my body to the ground, and the remaining voltage is just not enough to stimulate the amplifier, unless it's very sensitive and has big HFE. But the greater disadvantage is that in order to operate this kind of touch sensor, an active AC power line must be nearby. Look what happens when I turn off the lamp. The circuit does not operate anymore and that's because the lamp was the only active AC power line that I had near me. Now you may want to see the next video in which I explain how the capacitance touch sensors work. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting theories.